Father God, we praise you. Please be honored with our worship today. And please teach us through your word. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The passage will tell us that only through Jesus that we can be saved. I have been, I have been a preacher for uh, almost 40 years now. I never thought that the uh, urgency of uh, having to preach the gospel, especially lately, has been so much. The, uh, the COVID uh, pandemic has changed my uh, way of thinking about our life and about our church. Uh, before the uh, COVID, I thought if the church doesn't uh, kick me out, uh, I would probably just keep on preaching. But everything changed now. Uh, I'm not about to threaten all us here. But the truth is that even my wife doesn't know what I'm about to do right now. It's a vision that uh, Guy has given me that is, it is about town that I need to uh, return to my country to pay back uh, my, my debtedness to the country. What does that mean? I don't know. That means in the near future, I don't know how, uh, when exactly it is right now, but I must return to uh, my hometown. In the next few months, I'm going to be 67. And I have, I have been with us at this church for uh, 38 years now. Thank you for enduring uh, me for this long. Uh, on average, many of my uh, pastor friends have changed church uh, maybe 10 times already. I thank uh, God's mercy for us that we're able to uh, be here uh, with the love of uh, brother and sister here this long. And this is what uh, God is preparing me and us here uh, for what is about to happen in the future. I'm still, I still love everyone here. Uh, that hasn't changed for, uh, for the last 40 years and still the same. But God has a vision and a calling for each one of us. I've heard uh, from many uh, brothers and sisters, like Ri Yong too, have asked me, uh, have, have you not thought about going back home at all? For 40 years now, uh, at the beginning I thought, oh, I'm going to come here to study for about 5 years and I'm going to go back home. But God changed everything. Uh, and this is very important here, even though in my family we have been serving God for six generations now, but God has a plan for uh, each one of us uh, to do His work. Throughout history, people needed uh, others to help them uh, 
and they have been searching and trying to find a, a solution. Uh, in a hometown, we, you know, people tend to just want to worship or um, give uh, praise to anything that would that uh, for the wish of them or that thing to help them. Why is it? Because they do not know the truth. They don't know who or what can actually help them. And the Bible tells us that the um, evil spirits do, uh, do not want human beings to be free from the uh, bondage uh, that, that they're in to, uh, to meet God. I want to ask us that before we came to uh, before we came to know the Lord, how was our life like? We do not have any hope at all, right? We only hope that the things that we worship or hope or wish for would come would actually help us, but we are hopeless. And Jesus is the only one who can help us. And the passage here tells us why. The Bible tells us that people may be uh, good to us, but they come and they go and then they die. But Jesus is the only one who came and then uh, and, 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 and live forever. Jesus is not uh, just a human being, but he is God and he can teach us and show us. The Bible shows us here with a comparison that the, uh, the, high, the human high priest have to actually cleanse themselves first before they can actually uh, uh, cleanse others uh, through the uh, rituals. So that was saying, "Oh, here we have another two countries. So we, we are trying to help. We have questions. But we are not able to help. We are not able to help. We are not able to help. We are not able to help." And it shows that uh, every human being uh, has sin that they need to take care of, and that they, before they can take care of others, and uh, they have limitations. All of us do. And we look at our lives, we can see that there are many people who love us. And we love them too. And we try to help each other, right? But we all know that there are a lot of limitations. We can only help them to a certain degree, and they can only help us to a certain degree, right? Maybe as uh, parents, we might think, if I would never die, I'll raise my kids and take care of them all throughout my life. Many parents that I talk to say, I'm afraid I'm gonna, I'm gonna die, and then where are my, uh, who are my kids gonna live with? Especially if our children are still young or uh, have uh, de de uh, developmental issues that need uh, a lot more care. But the Bible tells us that only God can truly help us and our children and our great grandchildren and everything. All throughout generation, because only God can. So this is the uh, uh, thing first that we, um, Manuk my menu A lot of people in the world actually do not know the truth that only Jesus can truly help us. Uh, evil spirits may tell you, oh, there are many different ways, there are so many ways that you can do, and, uh, and, and uh, different things different uh, things can help you. But, 
But a genuine things and the true, a truly good thing, there is only one. Uh, Bible tells us yes, people can help us, but there are limitations that uh, that thing or person can help us. I know that in this world there are many parents who are willing to die for the children. I don't know if a husband is willing to die for us. Have you ever uh, asked uh, a husband, would you be willing to die for me? The husband may be uh, having a good mood and say, of course I can die for you, but if not, say, why don't you just go? <laughs> But the Bible says that Jesus died for us, he died in our place. Now we can say, do we have something special that God will love us that much? Have you ever thought, what good do I have that God will love me? I want to give us hope here. God created us, we are his children. And that is the reason why God loves us. We're not a, you know, a children who are stranded somewhere that God just picked up to, uh, to raise for a moment. We are important people because God created us we are his children, and that's why he's going to even die for us. He was spirit to tell us, no, nobody really cares about you, you're not that, that important, uh, your life is really uh, not, not that uh, significant. I have made this analogy uh, uh, before that. Human beings are like uh, people who have been kidnapped. Did you know that uh, during the communist revolution, the uh, uh, Chairman Mao uh, only forced everyone to have one uh, child, and many children were actually uh, kidnapped or, or hidden away, and now they are trying to find the true parents. So uh, currently now they are in China, they actually allow three children now uh, in a family because many of the uh, modern uh, family are not willing to have kids. But I want you to see this image here, that many of those children who were kidnapped and hidden away now, they are uh, trying to find the true parents. Now, if you were an adopted uh, child and you, you never knew your biological parents, would you want to know who your biological parents are? There are a number of people uh, currently trying to uh, go through the, a lot of apps, uh, uh, genealogy line and everything, trying to find out and figure out who the biological parents truly are. So when you know that uh, human beings have been kidnapped and taken away from God. Remember the story that Jesus talked about the lost sheep, where the owner would go out day and night to look for that one lost sheep. So that he would bring back home uh, to the family that 
the sheep that was lost. Jesus told his story because he wanted us to know that God is the one who came out to look for us, a human being who are lost. But worse than that, it's not just lost, but they have been kidnapped and taken away from God. And many people in the world do not know that they have been kidnapped and taken away from God. They, they did not know that they are children of God, that they've been taken away and they've been looking for help. And our duty and responsibility is that we need to go and tell them, let them know that, uh, and help them understand that they are children of God, that, they, that uh, they've been taken away from God. Think about it one day when they find out when they find out the truth, how happy would they be? And how happy would we be when we're the one who were, uh, who helped them to come and realize the truth that they belong to God and God loves them and God wants them and God's uh, so this is not just, oh, we have a uh, good news, a uh, gospel to tell you, but this is a, a very big story here. This is helping people to realize the truth about who they are, that they have been uh, kidnapped and taken away from God because they are actually truly children of God. So if you think about it, the uh, 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 Satan's gang is a big gang that actually uh, come and kidnap people away from God. In America, we call it human trafficking, right? And that is we uh, we kidnap and uh, take uh, people away and sell them uh, to other people. Uh, some were sold uh, as uh, prostitutes and some were sold uh, as a uh, uh, slave laborer. And we know that this is a terrible thing. But do you know that this is something that happens every day? Evil spirit is kidnapping people away and uh, taking them away and forcing them into a slave and labor. Uh, and uh, terrible things that happen to them. So this is an important point here. We need to understand that we are called to go and help these people so that they can come back home and that they can come back to God. And the only way is that they need to believe in Jesus so that they can be free from the bondage of sin and the evil spirit. Because if uh, they don't go through this, the uh, evil spirit would not uh, release them at all. And some people say, well, Jesus is only one person, how can he uh, be able to uh, uh, pay, this, pay, pay for the sin of the whole world? Let's uh, imagine this picture. Uh, 3,000 uh, soldiers get killed and one uh, uh, general. Uh, general or a captain get killed. Which one is captain more important? Oh, general. One general get killed. Which one is more important? Uh, and maybe another, another uh, comparison, maybe the king is uh, uh, captured and killed and the uh, soldiers are killed. Which one is more important? If, you, if we can uh, uh, have a ransom or uh, exchange, what is the worth of the uh, of one king? 
มแม่กระสอบอมหนึ่งแม่กระสอบพักกองพักเราจะแม่ one king in the exchange for the whole troop would 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 you do would you make the exchange อะไรสิ which is more important พระเยซูมีพระเจ้าครับแล่ชีวิตพระองค์เองกับมนุษย์ทั้งหมด Jesus is God who actually uh, willing to uh, take the He is willing to pay his own life in exchange for the life of the people in the world. You understand, Jesus' life is actually much more valuable than all the rest of the people in the world, and yet he is willing to sacrifice. Uh, some people say that oh that's that would be a lot why would we sacrifice so much uh, uh, for that but that's because God loves us so much if you are going to uh, exchange a, a big house at the top of the hill in Marin County and a small little hut in uh, Oklahoma would you do it? If someone is willing to exchange that, they're considered a fool. But God is willing to do this because He loves us. We are valuable in God's eyes. Every human being needs God. Everyone needs Jesus. Think, think about this, all these people actually are brothers and sisters and they do not know the truth. We found out the truth before and so we need to uh, go out to them because they are brothers and sisters and tell them the truth, let them know. May God help us. Let's pray. God, we praise you. May your love be with us. Speak to us. So that we may see the urgency of helping others. Help us God, to uh, not neglect this, uh, this duty and just enjoy ourselves and having fun. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.